Greetings friends. Um, this is a video on the eSword 9 converter and you can download this converter from the eSword website eSwordUsers.org and here this is a wonderful site uh, put together by the fans and developers of eSword um, and they have many resources here you have uh, both uh, for eSword uh, 8.0 and on and then uh, the new one 9 eSword 9. eSword 9 is different from eSword 8 different database setup so uh, you can go there download the converter and start converting your eSword 8 files to the new file format of eSword to the eSword 9. So let's look at that and it's not all that complex if you get the um, if you get the converter here you have files to convert go to the source and we'll find a file here I'm going to just click eSword here I put um, a commentary file here you can see um, the CMT if this was version 9 it would be dot cmtx so we're just gonna select this and we're gonna open as you can see it opens in the files to convert converted file gives you an option to um, give the destination you could put this directly in your program files eSword folder and it will come up when you start the eSword program but for now we're just gonna use uh, my desktop as the destination because I already have this folder. Um, there's also a batch mode so if you have a folder with multiple um, uh, modules in them that are not locked and that are um, in public domain uh, if they're locked they will not work in this converter um, and if uh, they're copyright files um, do not share them. Um, there's in the past been a big problem with copyright copyrighted files being shared. Um, it's against the law. So here you have in the batch uh, module uh, include subdirectories, uh, mirror directory structures, and also here skip password protected files. This program will stop and um, uh, at each one, and you'd have to click through them. Uh, if you did not have this clicked uh, automatically overwrite um, I would not recommend checking this uh, you'd want to save a hard copy of your old files um, so you would click this for the batch mode and then you would click uh, convert after you selected your destination for now we're gonna go back to normal and we're gonna go back to our file again seem to have lost it here so we can do we can do anyone we'll, we'll do that file again um, here it is click that open destination again desktop save now we're ready to convert uh, this is what the converted file will look like cmtx and then you just simply click convert and as you can see um, it'll go through the process here and when it's completed um, it will let you know so we'll let we'll let this run through the process now it's currently saving optimizing and it'll let you know finished converting you hit OK now let's see if we can find it on our desktop and it should be here I have a lot of things on my desktop very hard to find yes here it is so there you have it that's how you do it um, 
Take care, friends, and I hope you found this uh, helpful.